This is Jordan Hare Stadium, one of the most passionate environments in all of college football. 87,000 ready to rock and perhaps help create some magic in a place that's seen so much of it over the years. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on another SEC team, the Auburn Tigers. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herb Street. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Alabama will kick it off to get us underway. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Return it one down. He sets up the next drive. The Auburn Tigers offense will start in a bad spot here thanks to that return. So here we go. Just about every man, woman, and child in this state holding their breath. There's nothing quite like the Iron Bowl's intensity. Well, Chris, you and I love college football. We love the rivalries. And this is a game that we know so much typically is at stake, not just in the rankings, but just within this state. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Trying to find room, it's Hunter. And he will be stuffed for no game. There's such a living history to this rivalry game, Kirk. They began playing back in 1893 and so many dramatic chapters since then. You know, growing up in the Big Ten region, I always had an appreciation for the Iron Bowl, watching Auburn and Alabama every year. But really, it wasn't until 1996, my first year on college game day, when you and I were down there. Watched it firsthand. It was my first experience in seeing it. And there's just nothing like watching Auburn and Alabama in person. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Gosh, I, I just love to watch this defense fly around. Great job here on third down. Look at it. You're on the road. Things are going against you early in the game, and you block all of that out, and you're running around with confidence making plays. And here comes the punter onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. And here's the fair catch by the return man. So Alabama's offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And here we go, Kirk. This matchup on the edge that's going to go a long way to deciding this game. An elite wide receiver and a guy who doesn't believe anybody can beat him. This is going to be like a boxing match where it's an all-out battle. Two extremely gifted athletes competing on every snap. Better get your popcorn ready. You'll recall the last time they played, it was the Crimson Tide making just enough plays, Kirk, to pull out a close victory. And Chris, let's face it, that's what the Iron Bowl is supposed to be about. No matter who wins the game, it's always a lot of fun when it comes down to the final few minutes. I get a feeling it's going to be like that again today. On the run, it's Miller. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, I know people want to talk about the spread, and Alabama's offense has changed over the years, but at the end of the day, with this coaching staff, it still comes down to the line of scrimmage and the ability to pound the rock. Think about the backs they've had in recent years. Mark Ingram and Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Jameer Gibbs most recently. This is an offense that still wants to control things up front and beat you down. Dropping back, it's Milrow. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play, but he's up second down. to throw again on second and ten. Caught over the middle. It's Prentice. And the game just good enough for a first down. You know, Chris, you think about it, efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position. Jalen, Tua, Bryce Young recently. 
just a different level of quarterback play and really gives this offense edge to it. They'll run it out of the shotgun. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down play coming up for this offense. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Gets rid of it on the move. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. After the incompletion on first down, we're going to throw it again. Caught behind the line. It's Haynes. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. Back to throw again. Has caught. Can he get in? Defense makes the saving tackle at the three. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Well, these guys clearly weren't even thinking about a field goal in this one. They know that field goals won't win a game like this anyway, so be aggressive, and now it's first and goal. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. The point snapped to the back. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Well, that is a textbook opening drive for this offense. Good job of blending the run with the pass. Had a little more success throwing the football, but when it became crunch time, it gave that ball to that running back. Knows how to get the ball into the end zone. And they get set now to try the BAT. BAT is good. They jump in front, 7 0. Now they get set to kick it away. Is it just outside the goal line? And the returner brought down by that coverage team. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. They'll bring him down just short of the 20. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw. It's Thorne. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Football comes out. Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. Wow, the defense makes a huge play. They were able to poke the ball away from the receiver, but the offense was quicker to get to the ball, so they retained possession. The offense will set up on first and ten. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. So second and ten after the previous play. 
Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Makes a quick grab. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. The pre-snap motion from the offense. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Right down, that will pick it up five yards, so second and five. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards. Didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense that they better defend this style of play moving forward. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. They stop him, but it's a first down. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. Let's check out the stats now through the open period. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Auburn getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Looking to throw it again. Grab behind the line. It's Coleman. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Now this is the eighth play on this drive. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Good enough for first down yardage. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Quick, really nice throw here to the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. First and goal for the offense. And now the handoff. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. A pretty good push-up run here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in, or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup to put the ball through the air for the touchdown. Second down and goal upcoming. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Good job by the offensive line to get some positive yards, but not quite into the end zone. Now we're going to have a third and goal. Game moves the ball to the four. It's third down and goal. Back to pass. It's Thorne. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. Kurt, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and reach the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown.
And now the try here for the extra point. And the PAT is good. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start from the 25. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Stop short of the marker after just a short game. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Has the first down is still going. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Chris, I don't know. There's just something about that Bama uniform. When they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen, a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful play. Trying to find some room. It's Miller. And that one produces a decent game. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. The game makes it second and medium. They'll switch it up. Oh, fires it to the wideout. He makes the grab. That's a big play. Moves the ball down inside the 30. A nice throw and a great catch by another Alabama wide receiver. And that's really where we are anymore with Alabama. You just come to expect great receivers like this. You think back in recent years to Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith. The list goes on and on. But boy, they've got some great-looking receivers on this squad. Dropping back. It's Milrow. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. The tackle is made, just a short gain after the completion. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Snags with the throw. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. I feel like this quarterback could make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork, a cruel route against zone. And the quarterback, the only thing is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Looking for six. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. The clock has stopped. We've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. And they'll run the draw. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. Quarterback flashing the speed in that touchdown run. That's almost unfair, Kirk. Well, I think out of all the quarterbacks in the entire country, this guy might be as fast as any of them. Why not utilize his speed when he can make defenses pay for it? It's a great design play and a nice touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point makes the lead 14-7. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. They'll return it from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down on the 
Auburn offense back out on the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. First down, looking to throw the football. Let's it go quickly. And it's complete downfield. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. First and ten now for the offense. To the horn. That's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Incompletion makes it second down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looks fired into a tight window and picked off. Not a great return, but the important thing, the pick wipes out a scoring threat. They'll set the offense up at the 31. Chris, how about the big 300-pound defensive lineman getting his paw on that football and bringing it in for interception? Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Pressure is coming. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. down now after the sack from the gun he looks for an open man and the pass is complete to the tight end a big hit by the linebacker able to knock him down well that's pretty good coverage here by this defense not much of a window to throw this ball into but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game had a nice drive going here but now it's third down and long this one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Personal foul. Cannot make contact with a kicker like that. Costly special teams penalty gets the offense back on the field. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And it's caught. Touchdown, Alabama. Well, they began with great field position, and that didn't take long at all, Kirk. Well, that's how you take advantage of an opportunity. Your defense sets you up in great field position. You're not looking for a field goal. You're looking for a touchdown. Give the credit to this offense for being aggressive and punching it in. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field. Backed up this close to the red zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. Grab down the middle. It's Coleman. The tackle made him to play the 29-yard line. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows him off that trademark arm strength. Boy, if I'm a defensive coordinator, you can't leave the middle of the field 
that wide open makes it so easy for the quarterback to read and recognize and get the ball out of his hands for a first down. First and ten play coming up. Back to pass. It's Thorne. It's a quick grab. They make the tackle as time expires. That'll do it for the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Alabama and Auburn plays out. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. Returner looking to make a play here. Returner is brought down. Makes a start with the next drive. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. This group has been clicking. They really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. They bring him down right at the 20. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Moves to his left now, escaping the pocket. Finds room at the 30. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Man, this quarterback can play the game. He can throw, and as we see here, he can run the football. The defense does everything that they need to with the pressure. They look like they're in good position to be able to come up with a nice play on him, but instead, he shows how he can slip out of the back door of this defense and pick up a nice game. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. Makes a quick catch. Well, when you run that out route, it's going to end up very close to the sideline. His awareness to realize not only keep his eyes on the football, but where he is on the field. He gets his toe down before he goes out of bounds for the catch. Second down after that run on the previous play. A handoff from the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. One of those critical third down plays coming up. To throw, it's Milrow. Caught quickly. Breaks a tackle and he's got room. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. the shotgun now here's a handoff inside I tell you to be able to pick up a nice game like that those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks gave them a chance at a really nice game and here comes the noise this crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop shotgun formation here's an inside give They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play.
So now it's third and short in the 21 as this defense tries to make a stand and force a field goal attempt or a fourth down stop. And they pick up the first on the ground. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 now. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Looks left and finds his target there. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense to get this stop near the goal line. Here's the handoff on first and goal. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, tie. Look out now, the tide are beginning to really roll curve. This is getting away from the Auburn Tigers right now. Yeah, kind of a game of momentum. Alabama has had the upper hand, and now after this score, you're right, this thing could get out of reach. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. Running out of time in the pocket. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Looking to throw. It's Thorne. Here's a screen pass to the running back. He held down. Good job by the defense getting through the blockers. But he stopped short of the first down. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. They bring the punter onto the field now, and he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the coverage team gets the return to the ground. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. This group has been rolling up double digits at halftime. They've just built on that lead here in the second half. Now begin with a quick throw to the left. Great move in the open field. That is a huge play. Finally brought down at the 46-yard line. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense.
First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Here's a quick throw off the play fake. They tackle him, but the game moves the ball to the 36. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Looking to pass. It's Milrow. Makes a quick grab. Good execution. Gets a block and gets the first down. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. Alabama getting set with a first and ten coming up. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Throws it to the right. And he's got his bad open downfield. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And the route is on. That's the kind of execution that's built on the practice field for a very precise pitch and catch for a touchdown. You know, when we were out at practice, one thing that really stood out to me about this receiver was his ability to separate with his route running ability. You could see that right there on game day and how that shows up for a touchdown. Here's the point after attempt. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this run? And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. Hasn't been much of a contest so far, and the stats will reflect that. And let's see if a comeback is in store here as we start the fourth quarter. They're behind the sticks on second and long here from the 12. To the air, it's Thorne. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. They bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play. If they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. The pass is off target. He got hit as he threw as the third down pressure worked. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. He's got it, and that is enough for a first down. They've got him, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. Here's a first and ten play. Looking to throw yet again. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Runner scoops out of bounds after gaining DC yards. Good time here to drop this screen in for the offensive coordinator. And a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. That completion sets up a second down play. 
Offense looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's fairway. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw a good pass rush there on first down. Second and ten here. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. He's got it near the end zone. They stop him at the four, but it sets up this offense with a first and goal. We saw this receiver in the first half have a number of inward breaking routes, and now in the second half, we're seeing more stuff going to the outside. Good adjustment by this offense coordinator. The offense sets up with a first and goal. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! You know, today's not been their day, but the thing you can always hang your hat on is these guys are still competing. They come up with a touchdown here late in the fourth quarter. You can use that as hopefully some momentum into next week. And now they'll set up for the point after. VAT is good. They cut into the lead. It's 35 14. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. It looks like the hands team are able to recover the football. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They were up double digits at halftime, and they're just continuing to roll, building in the lead here in the second half. Takes the handoff. It's Miller. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Has the first down and more. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. What really good run by this running back. The defense fortunate to be able to bring him down inside the 10-yard line. But it's first and goal for the offense. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. Handoff as they try to work the clock here. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. That's another good run here by this back. You know, he's been inside, he's been outside. At times, he's had to be patient, showing his vision. He now has 97 yards on the ground today. A few more carries, he's likely going to go over the central mark. It's a second and goal play for the offense. Receiver in motion now. That's a design quarterback keeper. Touchdown, Bama. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Well, the energy really building now, Kirk. If they're not careful, this could get ugly. Chris, this offense has been impressive the entire game. And one of the great things about rivalry games is you'll never forget this kind of performance. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The 
kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Jackson. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Auburn offense back out on the field. And looking to throw now on first down. Snags a good throw. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Pass caught. Second down now. Looking to pass. It's Thorne. Receiver makes the grab. And he will make the first down. Tackled at the 26. Chris, this guy has a big time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. It's an out route. The catch made. And he's brought down after a big first down game. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving his defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking to throw again. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. So incomplete pass on second down sets up a third and in inches. Look at pick up the first down through the air. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. That picks up a first down. He's spotted at the 39. Well, I know analytics are going to tell you to go for it on fourth and inches. It's just a little bit scarier doing it in your own territory. But listen, if you trust your offense and you trust the preparation you've had in these kind of short yardage situations, I say if they get another one of these, they go for that one too because it clearly has worked out for them. Grab down the middle. It's Hunter. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Hey, there's the execution that's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. Back to throw. It's Thorne. And that half ball is incomplete. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. Tackle is made, but it's a big game. Fumble the ball to the 25-yard line. Well, this defense is playing well with a letdown there. A little too comfortable with this big lead at the moment, maybe. Yeah, and I, what I love to see is this offense is not giving up. This game has not gone the way they had hoped, but here they are taking a few swings late in this game. This one ends up working out, and now let's see if they can put another player or two together and get the points on the board. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. Defense cannot get this offense to board down. Offense continues the long drive. And he's back to throw again on second down. 
Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. The offense was moving well, but two incompletions sets up a third and ten. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Incomplete for a third straight play. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. Fourth and ten after three straight incompletions. Can they connect this time? Back to throw, and he'll loft it to the end zone. Can't connect downfield, incomplete, and a turnover on downs. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. Handoff here from the shotgun. That's a solid gain, moves the ball to the 29. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's all ready to get Second down after that run on the previous play. Tonight's final score, Alabama, 42, Auburn, 14.